I'm about to drop a gem on y'all today. So I'm gonna show you guys a super duper quick, easy way to automate your panning and your volume in Logic Pro 10. So let's dig into it. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today, I wanna show you guys a, a quick tutorial in Logic Pro 10 on how to record, say, your panning automation um, on the fly without having to manually, you know, draw it in. It's super simple. Um, so I'm going to start with this simple progression I have here. And pretty much <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, change this setting here. On In my sessions, the default is read. So if you change it to latch, or I'm sorry, not latch, but touch, then it highlights that yellow. All you have to do is hit record on my keyboard. I'm going to just hit R for record. And then I'm going to move the pan um, left and right. And then it and it's going to record it. And then I'll play it back so you guys can hear it. Okay, so now we'll play it back. So you should have heard it going back and forth with the panning. If you open up the automation um, window by just pressing A, and then changing it from volume to pan, you'll see everything that I was kind of drawing simply by just moving that pan knob. Um, and if you have like a MIDI controller to, to move your pan knob or whatever, um, you can use that as well and, and, and do it instead of just, you know, clicking the mouse, whatever works for you. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how it, it automatically records. You just change it to touch mode instead of read and you'll be good to go. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.